a school with this population, <laughs> such a small school, uh, is made up as follows. So here you go, these grades are sized in this kind of order, okay? So like these are my subgroups, these are each of my strata, and you can see, it's like, uh, let's have a look, which is the biggest grade? It's year nine, okay, year nine. So therefore, if I were to get a sample out of here, and you can see in question B, I want a sample of 60 kids. I want, yeah, yeah. in this group of 60, I want year 9 to be the biggest because group. Course, Does that make sense? Get so that the representation time. here like is going to be the same in my sample. The whole river or the so, whole sea or the question four, the most logical way to do this is to plan this out with a table. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, which of the strata am I looking at? I've got six, I will work my way through each of them. For that particular strata, like the seven, or actually I think strata is plural. For each of those groups, what proportion are they of the whole population? So I'm going to say proportion. And then I'm going to answer part A and part B together. Read them with me. It says, if a stratified random sample is to be taken on the basis of these subgroups, what proportion of students should be chosen from each year? So I'm going to answer this. And then part B, how many students should be chosen if I want to end up with a group that's total 60 students? Okay, so I'm going to say number of students. Okay, get your calculator ready because we're going to use this to help us, right? Let's start with year seven. Now, there are 125 year sevens, right? 125 year sevens. Out of 859, right? So right there, that actually is the proportion, okay? Now, just so I get a sense of that in my head, I'm just going to give a percentage because it's nice to be able to um, grapple with these and that's what percentages are for. So if you just go ahead and punch in, so 125 divided by 850, your calculator should hand you a decimal. Now, I'm just going to get, I'm going to risk percentage is fine. I'm going to about 15%. Now, here's what's lovely. Having got that number in my calculator, I want 15% of my final group of students to be year sevens. Okay? So I'm just going to take the same number that's in my display and I'm going to multiply by 60. Okay, 15% times the 60. So you can see I'm going to get 8.73, which is approximately equal to 9. Okay? Now, please note, it's actually really important, and you'll see why at the end of this, it's quite important that I write where I'm rounding from and where I round Oops, to. Okay, I can't have like a fractional okay. number of students, Here but I want to know how far I have to round. You'll see why. Okay, okay, so this is like one of the subgroups, right? Uh, Can you help me work actually, out what the rest of it? the groups are? Yeah. Do those. I'll give you like yeah, I rewrote these two, three minutes. Because, uh, it's pretty yeah, easy, not a crunchy. Work out each of the proportions and then multiply by 60 to get to the number of students. And then once okay, we have right, the whole yeah. table, we'll come together. People are asking questions about rounding here, which is really great. I want you to remember, we looked at rounding earlier, okay? Um, like right at the start of the year on MM1, okay? We understood that rounding was for a purpose. Like rounding is not just like some nice skill just so that you can do significant figures. It's because like when you measure something with a law, you can only know it to whatever accuracy or whatever it might be. Now here we're rounding, but you have to be careful we're doing it for a particular purpose. Now have a look. This is why it's important I've got my numbers here, right? You can see sometimes I round up, sometimes I've had to round down. But think now in total, how many students did I want in my stratified random sample? I wanted in total, I wanted 60, right? So now I'm just going to quickly check. 9, 10, 12, 11, 9, 9. Do I end up with 60 students? Okay. Now in this case, lucky me I actually do. Yes. Here's the reason why. Oh, you do. Somewhat by chance. Have a look at the ones that have rounded up and the ones that have rounded down. In fact, I'll highlight them for you. Um, these ones, these ones, these ones, these ones. These have rounded up. Do you notice that? And then the other ones have rounded one, two, three. They've rounded down. Okay. Now, like I said, by chance, the number of rounding ups and the number of rounding downs has just about balanced. Okay, but that didn't have to be. That didn't have to be. It's a little bit like if you go to the shops, right? And you know how when you buy stuff, right? Um, and they have awkward prices like this. 
Especially if you go to Audi, Audi like I do. Okay. Now, you can imagine, right? You can imagine. If you add up a whole bunch of things, actually, that's not a... Oh, yeah, that's okay. See, both of these prices are going to round down, right? They're both going to round down. If I have a series of things that all round down, then the amount I actually pay at the end isn't actually the total value. Like, it's a little bit less because every individual thing is rounded, right? Because I've had to round and round and round, if some of them are rounding down more than rounding up, I'm actually not going to end up with 60 at the end. I'm going to be short, okay? Which is why you then have to go back and say, wait a second, I'm not going to get 60, I'm only going to get 59. Or I could have the reverse problem and end up with 61, and I have to work out which one of these groups am I going to have to kick someone out of. And you'd look at how far you had to round, okay? Do you see how, say, for example, this number here, super close to 10, right? So you wouldn't touch that. You wouldn't muck with that. Which one do you think has rounded up or down furthest? 12. 12. 12. 12. 11. 11. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. So this one has rounded up, and it's rounded up by 0.41. Right? So it's like, it's, it's almost half a student. This is like getting to limits of reading, you know, that plus or minus half of whatever. Okay. So yes, it's year 12. So if, for instance, I had too many or too few, that's where change might be. Okay, does that make sense? 